Hi everybody, my name is Mary and today I will be watching Game of Thrones Season 6, Episode 9. Let's go! Hey everybody, welcome back. I had a long ass day but I really want to see the end of this season so I'm gonna watch Episode 9 and 10 right now. I feel like I'm so committed to the show more than I was in the beginning. In the beginning you expect something and then your soul gets crushed a million times and then after a while you're so invested in the story that you just want to know where it's going and I feel like I'm really at that point. One remark that I have right now what I was thinking after the last episode is the whole Arya storyline with becoming no one and then now she's back to Arya. Like it made me really happy but I'm also a little bit like what was the point of that storyline then? Will it result into anything or not? Because I find it super good. I enjoyed it so much but I'm also like does it lead to somewhere? The one thing that I could come up with is that she's like super trained and super strong and maybe in that sense she will be a different person than she was before. Yeah I'm wondering like will we see more of that or is that just like she went there for a while while other people did other things and now she's back. I'm wondering. I'm excited for this one. Let's get into this. If you like this reaction make sure to like and subscribe and as always full reactions you can find on Patreon. Let's go. Dragon time. Despite appearances, I think you'll find the cities on the rock. Oh. I will set their fleets afire, kill every last one of their soldiers, and return their cities to the dirt. Tyrion is like, Christ. <laughs> Talking about destroying cities, I'd like to suggest an alternate approach. Oh my God! Whoa! <gasps> Once before, I offered you peace. You will flee Slaver's Bay on foot. Like the beggar queen you are. We obviously didn't communicate clearly. We had to discuss your surrender, not mine. Your reign is over. Dragon. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus Christ. Hands are roll. Hands are roll. <laughs> God, like, would anyone not want to be in her team after this? I would be like, sure, yeah, you, you get that thrown. <laughs> I feel like they're quite lucky. They can still be like, okay, I'll go back to my family after what they just did. Our queen insists that one of you must die as punishment for your crimes. Him. He should die. He's not one of us. Oh, that's not gonna... What a bad argument in this situation. I would kill the others. Yeah. Good on you, dude. Tell your people what happened here. Remind them what happened when Daenerys Stormborn and her dragons came to Marine. God, those two others were so bad though. Like, the problem is like, you can't imagine how you would respond in that situation. But I'm also like, I like you can hope that it's not you. But would you actually be like, kill this guy? Like, standing next to you? Oh. Whoa! Now, dismount and kneel before me. Surrender your army and proclaim me the true Lord of Winterfell and Warden of the North. I will pardon you for deserting the Night's Watch. They just need one person to just shoot an arrow at him right now. I have 6,000 men. You have not even. Aye, you have the numbers. Will your men want to fight for you when they hear you wouldn't fight for them? Ooh, good one. Hmm. Although I don't think that 3,000 versus 6,000. Will you let your little brother die because you're too proud to surrender? How do we know you have him? Oh, no. He's, oh, no. Oh, no, the, the wolf. Yeah. If you want to save You're them. going to die tomorrow, Lord Bolton. Sleep well. <laughs> She's off. It's not his men that worry me. It's his horses. I know what mountain knights can do to us. You and Stannis cut through us like piss through snow. Like piss through snow? I've defended the wall from worse than Ramsay Bolton. You don't know him. What should we do? How do we get Rickon back? We'll never get him back. Oh my god. If you had asked for my advice earlier, I would have told you not to attack Winterfell until we had a larger force. Or is that obvious when too? When will we have a larger force? What about the Feli? I won't ever let him touch you again. I'll protect you, I promise. No one can protect me. No one can protect anyone. She has been through so much. Like, honestly, 
the worst people in the in the whole series she had to marry <laughs> man's didn't have demons in his skull he didn't torture people or listen to some red witch i believed in him but i was wrong just like you to be fair that red witch brought someone back to life <laughs> i would believe in witchery oh did he make the connection because he didn't know yet right about what was her name shireen you brought us a hundred ships from the iron fleet in return, I expect you want me to support your claim to the throne of the Iron Islands? Not my claim, hers. Oh, what's wrong with you? <laughs> there are more than a hundred ships in the Iron Fleet. And Euron is building more. He's going to offer them to you. So why shouldn't I wait for him? He also wants to give you... His big cock. <laughs> oh. We'd like you to help us murder an uncle or two who don't think a woman's fit to rule. Reasonable. Oh, they're vibing. You will support my claim as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. No more reaving, roving, raiding. No more. No more. It's quite weird otherwise if she would recognize them and then it would steal from her people. Like, interesting. It's so cool to see all these people from different houses and lands come together. You've seen them so long separately and now they're all like mixing. It's nice. I constantly forget though about winter that's coming, you know, and like the north behind the wall, like, you know what I mean, right? They're focusing on the battles between the kingdoms and not yet about what's coming. Oh, imagine if that's your brother. Oh my f god. Can still see it happening. When you think it's gonna be fine. Run to your brother. The sooner you make it to him, the sooner you get to see him again. That's it. That's no, it. No, 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 no. No, you have to run, remember? Those are the rules. Thank Christ, honest to God. There's gonna be a point that is far enough, right? That the arrow cannot get him. He's gonna no, John no, John no, John. Don't do what he wants you to do, John. She said one thing. Oh my god, there's a oh my god, he's they're baited. This is not exactly what he want. Oh no, this is exactly what he wanted them to do. Be pissed off and just run into them. No. No, no way. I'm so done with him dying. All oh, the horses. <gasps> but this way, they are killing their own men and they have the horses, which we are worried for. So without horses. I'm really trying to watch, but it's not easy. Just a mountain of dead bodies. It's time. Go. Who owns an Are none of them sick of Ramsey though? Is there not one person in the army who is like, I I'll just stab him? <laughs> tactic like this ever happen because it seems really smart but it also seems very not plausible god throwing yourself on there is heroic honestly oh. are they not pissed off that their leader is behind them being trampled god oh my god oh, jesus christ 
Christ. Yes! Oh, I was kind of still hoping for that. But it did look good. That one little raven, why didn't she send a few episodes ago? Hey, Ramsey! Mother effer! <laughs> How do you like this? It's so bad, right? Because it's none of these people's faults. It's just because a few people that this is happening. He's just sitting there. He's gonna run. He looks like a weakling. Get him, John. Get him! Get him, John! Yeah, no, he's getting away. We have Winterfell. They don't have the men for a siege. All we have to do is wait. Are his men not pissed that he just comes riding back? Like, does a commander not need to be with his men? All we have to do is wait. <laughs> oh, that aged well. Ah! Oh, why does it always have to be so nasty? Good job, man. You did it. So sad. There is a little shit. I'm sorry, I don't recognize myself. You suggested one on one combat, didn't you? I've reconsidered. I think that sounds like a wonderful idea. Jesus, be careful. <laughs> I'll let her do it. Yes! <laughs> Joffrey, gone. Ramsay, gone. I'm gonna bury my brother in the crypt. Next to my father. Oh, that's just heartbreaking. Yeah. Hello, Sansa. Is this where I'll be staying now? Let him rot though. Like, it's such an easy way out if he gets killed now. Just let him sit there. Your house will disappear. Your name will disappear. Oh my god, really? No way. My hands will never harm me. <laughs> you haven't fed them in seven days. You said it yourself. Oh, ugh, I kind of don't want to see this. Stop. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I don't need to see this. Sorry. And for people who say that you don't know what's going on if you don't watch, I think we all know what's going on, right? So yeah. <laughs> that she wouldn't have sent that raven a few episodes ago because i feel like with how unpredictable game of thrones actually is i feel like that she was gonna come with the knights of the veil vale was something that i think a lot of people would be thinking about no because she sent it uh, like a few episodes ago when they were actually gathering people and she sent the raven and like who would she send the raven to right so at one point i was like so where are they <laughs> Uh, yeah, and that ending was... It's so difficult with this series because your morals tell you that you should never wish bad upon someone. Or like at least not in that manner. But damn, this Ramsey dude, right? Okay, I hope you like this reaction. I feel like it was a bit much. So I apologize if it was a bit much. <laughs> if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Hi everybody, my name is Mary, this is my cat Luna, and today we will be watching the season finale of Game of Thrones season 6. Let's go! If you've seen the last episode, what I'm recording now is literally 5 seconds later than that one because my precious cat came to lay with me and I kind of want to try to keep her with me during the episode because I really like that. <laughs> the last one was a lot though. I'm so happy that Ramsey lost. I'm so happy because that guy, honestly. Would you say that Joffrey or Ramsey were worse? Because I feel like at one point it's really hard to like qualify bad because 
after you pass a certain threshold of how bad you actually are, it's like what's like it's so difficult to decide. I'm so sad though that they lost Rickon. I feel like that boy didn't get a chance at all in anything it seems. Yeah, I'm excited to see the season finale because I feel like I was expecting season uh, episode 9 to be really intense and I think that season uh, oh, Jesus, I cannot speak anymore. I think that episode 10 will be calmer, more of a wrap up. But we shall see how it goes. At least Ramsey is gone. I feel like I needed that. And I know that's bad to say, but what a prick. <laughs> anyway, let's get into this episode. I hope you like it. If you do, make sure to like and subscribe. And we're going to start and see how long I have this little fur ball with me during direction. Let's go. How long has he been there? Grand Leicester. God, this is so bad, right? Because it's like, oh my god, he, he likes to sleep with men. And then you think, how many of the men in that room also sleep with men, you know? It's such a hypocritical... I take full responsibility for my many sins and unburden myself of my desires. My only remaining wish is to devote my life to the Seven. I hope they accept that. I ask you to dedicate your life to the Seven Gods. Will you fight to defend your faith against heretics and apostates? I will. Oh no, are they gonna carve that thing in his head? <laughs> I have to go. I'm late for the trial. At moments like that, I'm always scared to have like a sudden stab sound. Go to the Red Keep and show her the way. How did they not check this before? Where is the king? Elsewhere, I'm afraid. What's the meaning of this? You're dead, dude. Cersei's Revenge. What is this episode called? The Winds of Winter. Okay. I feel like this Grand Maester's rip, Lancel's rip, but like, is she gonna take the king? The music. The longer you wait, the worse it'll be for you. It's quite dark to let kids do this, no? I think you know what he's doing, dude. What's going on? Oh, is that gonna explode? Oh my god, it took me so long! Oh my god, wildfire. Um, that took me so long. Oh my god, the Tyrells. You've always been quiet. I said my face would be the last thing you saw before you died, do you remember? Oh. I'm ready to meet the gods. What? Now? I'm not going to die for quite a while. Sir Gregor. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is Sir Gregor Clegane. He's quiet, too. Oh, I don't want to... I don't... I don't need to see this. Shame. Shame. I so... I so cannot believe that this happened. I really wanted to see more of Marjorie as well. Everyone hates her and still she's able to do this. Oh, no. Donna, no! Praise and the Lannisters send their regards. How many Lannisters left? Oh my god, Tommen. What a good kid, though. What a good kid. Completely. Oh man, I lost all my happiness. <laughs> he should be with his grandfather, his brother, his sister. Burn him. Bury his ashes where the sept once stood. Imagine that you're so bad and so evil that the one thing that you made and is so good doesn't even want to be in this world anymore because you ruined it so bad. Hello from Lord Commander Snow at Castle Black. This is irregular. I suppose that life is irregular. <laughs> oh my god, his face! <laughs> the Archmaester will discuss these irregularities with you. In the meantime, you are permitted to use the library. Follow me. What about the lady and child? No women or children. What is she supposed to do? <laughs> I feel like with everything that's going on in episode 9 and now in 10, it's so hard to be just happy for Sam that he can be in a library, you know? There's so many emotions. Oh, 
Is this his dream come true? Oh, this is gonna be intense. Ooh -hoo -hoo. I loved that girl like she was my own. She was good, she was kind, and you killed her! So did her father, so did her mother. That's the saddest part, right? Right south today. If you return to the north, I'll have you hanged as a murderer. If you ever come back this way, I will execute you myself. It's so heartbreaking that he's more upset about Shireen than her own father was. I'm having the Lord's Chamber prepared for you. Mother and father's room. <laughs> She's like, well, I want my room back. You should take it. I'm not a Stark. You are to me. That's nice. A raven came from the Citadel. A white raven. Winter is here. Well, father always promised, didn't he? Winter is here. I, I don't care what perfumed aristocrat sits beside you in the throne room. I don't want a crown. I want you. Aww. I love you. And I make you happy. What if she has to sleep with that aristocrat to get his child? I'm full of self-pity. Who comes after you? Who can ever follow Daenerys Stormborn, the mother of dragons? A great number of women, I imagine. Why is she so happy about this? Like, she could at least be a bit sad. I pity the lords of Westeros. They have no idea what's coming for them. Farewell, Dario Nahoris. Oh, that's gold. <laughs> I said farewell to a man who loves me, a man I thought I cared for, and I felt nothing. Just impatient to get on with it. She didn't care. She just said that she felt nothing, so, like, you don't need to console her. You have completely failed to console me. What? You said you felt nothing! What is it? Are you sad, or do you feel nothing? I'd swear you're my sword, but I don't actually own a sword. It's your counsel I need. I had something made for you. I'm not sure if it's right. Oh! That's sick. <laughs> Tyrion Lannister, I name you Hand of the Queen. That must mean so much to him. Where are my damn moron sons? They're here, my lord. Tell them to come here, now. But they're already here, my lord. Here, my lord. Ah! Ah, my god! Okay, we got a little bit of mythology in here that I didn't need. They weren't easy to carve. Especially Black Waldo. <sighs> Lannister send their regards. Oh my god! The last thing you're ever going to see is a Stark smiling down at you as you die. I thought, end season. Oh my god, there's so much. Of I came here every day when I was a girl. Prayed to be somewhere else. Back then I only thought about what I wanted, never about what I had. You were a child. Yeah! She denied him. I didn't expect her to walk away. Are you sure you're ready for this? I'm the three-eyed raven now. I have to be ready for this. Oh my god! No way! Oh my god, whoa! What a my like, what a switch! Oh my god, what he did for him! The North remembers we know no king, but the king in the North whose name is Stark. I don't care if he's a bastard. Ned Stark's blood runs through his veins. He's my king from this day until his last day. Lover. Oh my god, but like, what is this gonna change? And also, who knows except for Bren? The king in the north! <laughs> of goosebumps. <laughs> Imagine this little John, king of the north. Ooh. That's gonna be something to you. With him, I'm like, I don't trust him, but I'd rather have him by my side, I think. Welcome home, Jamie. Her outfit, though, is so cool. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> I now proclaim Cersei of the House Lannister, first of her name, Queen of the Andals and the First Men, Protector of the Seven Kingdoms. The lady lost all her children, though. <laughs> so wrong. Shame. Long may she reign. 
Oh, I want to know more about Jamie's in like opinion. Does Littlefinger know? Did he just say a boss, a motherless bastard from the south? Or is that implying that the mother was from the south but has nothing to do with Robert? I did not expect that so much was gonna happen in the last episode. Marjorie, Loris, Tommen, John is boss, Arya took some revenge. So her, what she learned actually comes back so that's cool to see. I find it so hard to comment right now because I feel like you just need to let it sink in and enjoy the music. You can really see how they because I know that the next seasons have less episodes and you can really see how they did that since they actually got so many characters like main characters out of it so there's so like lesser conversations to be had between so many. Now it's a smaller amount. Cersei on that throne though, Jesus, that's just sickening. Especially because she was like, Jamie was so preaching about her love for her children. And look at her, she has a throne with no children. Like honestly, everyone around her just crazy. She hasn't murdered Jamie yet over some discussion. I'm gonna say goodbye now, but I will be watching the next two seasons really soon because I also want to start talking with you all about the series. I'm so surprised, honestly, that this one wasn't spoiled <laughs> because it's fairly easy to do this god i hope you like this reaction tell me your thoughts about this please because afterwards i'm gonna be reading and i i want to know what everyone's been thinking because i really miss like what i really miss at this point is being able to conversate about it like when you watched it all on tv you could immediately talk about it with everyone but i'm always like game of thrones shh don't speak to me about it. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, full reactions are available on Patreon for you to enjoy full watch along style. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good night. Bye.